In part 1 of this video, we found out that we could pull equations off the first and last column in our interest table. Let's take a look at another example where we can see this work out. Remember, simple interest in one year is the principal times the rate, equaling the interest earned. In this problem, we're not given any information about the two accounts the bank is loaning out. We're given some totals, but not the individual accounts. So let's say account 1 has x invested in it, and account 2 has y invested in it. The first loan has a 4% interest rate. This is 0.04 as a decimal. The second loan has a 13% interest rate. This is 0.13 as a decimal. We calculate interest earned by multiplying principal times the rate, giving us 0.04x and 0.13y. Again, we're given our totals, which we need to be careful to decide, is this a principal total or is this the interest total? The 4,900 is the amount that was invested in both accounts. This is the principal total, $4,900. The $421 is what we earned in interest. This is the interest total, 421. We can now pull our equations just as before, off the last column, giving us 0.04x plus 0.13y equals 421. And the last column, which is x plus y, equals 4,900. We can now solve this equation using the addition method quite nicely. This time, let's eliminate the x by multiplying the second equation by negative 0.04. As we do, the first equation is unchanged. The first equation is 0.04x plus 0.13y equals 421. The second equation now, after distributing, is negative 0.04x minus 0.04y equals negative 196. Adding these equations together will eliminate the x, giving us 0.09y equals 225. To get the y alone, we simply divide by 0.09, and we find out that y is equal to 2500. We still need to find x, and we could find that going back to an original equation. The bottom one would probably be the easiest, x plus y, or x plus 2500 equals 4900. Subtracting 2500 from both sides tells us that x is equal to 2400. Clearly labeling our answers, x is the amount that is at 4%. We've got $2,400 invested at 4%. Y is the amount at 13%. We have $2,500 that is loaned out at 13%. And that completes our problem.